I've always wanted to go across Africa on a motorbike and to engage with the communities along the way, especially the women. Hi, I'm Carolyn Zeigler from the Impact Collective. We are running a project called Women Who Impact, which is uh, highlighting social innovation led by women across Africa. I'm going to be riding from Cape Town all the way to Alexandria in Egypt and on the way stopping in with eight social impact initiatives that are led by women. I'm going to spend a month with each of them and really learn about what it is that they're doing, what are the lessons they've learned over time and so on. This is a game changer because Businesses really need a lot of the things that social impact initiatives do amazingly well. The things we struggle with in business these days, the great resignation, we have quiet quitting, we have uh, you know, disengaged employees, burnout, all these issues. This is where social impact initiatives really excel because they're all about communication, about engagement, about community. And so bringing the business space and the social impact space together is beneficial for both in so many ways. The project is Women Who Impact, and at the end of it, we want to make a documentary film series that highlights social impact initiatives led by women across Africa. And our first uh, trip, just to check out that everything is working and to do a little trial run, was to Zimbabwe where we visited Kupunda Learning Village and we, I spent a month with them and then my um, film team came for uh, five days to do the filming and so we've got our first uh, episode of our documentary in the box. So I've, for a long time I've been passionate about social impact and social enterprise. I used to run a women's empowerment initiative in the Middle East myself and so I've been working in that space for about 12 years now and I've become very passionate about it and I feel that we need to spread the word about what social impact can do in the world uh, because I strongly believe that if we change the way we work we can change the way we live and obviously people are suffering from a lot of things right now and I think social impact in initiatives have a huge potential to change a lot of that. Um, and then I've always had this dream of going across Africa on a motorbike. So then I decided to bring the two things together <laughs> and go across Africa on a motorbike and visit a lot of women-led social impact initiatives along the way, uh, spend a month with each of them, learn about what they're doing, uh, what they have to tell the world, the lessons that they can share with others, the, the things that they wish they had known when they started out and then sharing that with the world in a documentary film series. I'm hoping to find the real story there uh, because often even the founder doesn't know the story that you know we can tell about this initiative that is really the most beautiful story. Like when we were at Kufunda, for example, the story that emerged when I was uh, engaging with the people there and talking to the different people who worked there, who came there for workshops regularly and so on, was the story that Kufunda had this unique ability to discover people's true passion and help them to discover who they are and what they want to do with their lives and to just give them the opportunity to actually live that. And it came, the story just came through again and again and again through the people that worked there, through the people that came there for workshops regularly. Even the communities that came there for workshops said, we discovered who we are as a community and what we stand for as a community because of our work with Kapunda. So it was just this beautiful story and the, the founder herself couldn't even have told me that story. No, it, it's just when you are there and you're listening and you're observing and you're seeing what's happening, you find those beautiful stories where, you know, I think often the founder, even if she knew, would be too humble to even tell you that. Um, I think there are a lot of similarities. So one of the aims of the project is to connect all the founders together in a mastermind group so that they can communicate with each other and help each other, uh, support each other through their projects. Um, and at the same time, I also want to show the diversity because um, I think outside, you know, in the global north, 
uh, the diversity of Africa is not very well known. And I feel that there is so, so much here to be discovered by so many people that have, have no idea about this, but also the diversity of social impact. Like when people, a lot of people, when they hear social impact, they, f they think about just certain things, you know, maybe an orphanage or, you know, bringing water to a village or whatever. And all these initiatives are super important. And, you know, I really appreciate that they're being done. And social impact can be in any industry, in any field. You can have social impact and you can create a social impact business in any field. And that's what we're trying to show by by really um, by really visiting a diverse range of projects that can highlight all the different things that can be done uh, with social impact. So from uh, South Africa, we we're starting in Cape Town and then from Cape Town going to Lesotho, from Lesotho via Botswana to either Zambia or Mozambique. It depends, it's not confirmed yet. We have, then we have further projects confirmed already in Uganda, in um, Tanzania, in Kenya, in uh, Ethiopia. So there is quite a lot already that we have on the route and um, they're very varied projects. So we have some that are tech platforms, so an app and a platform. We have uh, something, uh, one initiative that is about wildlife conservation. We have another initiative that is about the construction industry bringing social impact into that. So the big idea is really uh, so, you know, showing that businesses can solve today's problems and for tomorrow's society rather than creating them. Uh, well, I should think it should be everybody's cup of tea because this is really about, you know, how, what, what I see is that, you know, you have social impact initiatives that are amazing usually at communication, at community, at uh, bringing people together, at engagement. And then you have businesses that are lacking all of these things. You know, but on the other hand, a lot of the social impact initiatives are lacking a little bit of business savvy. You know, they could have more in that direction. They could be better at marketing themselves. They could be better at, you know, understanding how business works. So I feel that we need to create this bridge between the business world and the social impact world because they can really benefit each other. And I feel that the business world is not really seeing how much they can benefit from actually connecting with the social impact world. So um, our trailer that we've shot is on YouTube. It's openly available, no problem. And we have a website where people can check what we're doing. It's on womenwhoimpact.co, C-O. And um, also, if someone wants to really be like a virtual pillion rider with me and get all the stories and all the in-depth of what is going on behind the scenes, then they can become a patron and support us on Patreon. So if you want to support us, we still have the opportunity to take on some partners. Please get in touch with us. We have our website, womenwhoimpact.co. We have um, an Instagram at Women Who Impact. So do get in touch and be our partner.